Hey there everyone, this is Hitesh and I'm back with another video. So what this video is all about? This video is about solving the problems when you will design iOS app and in fact why to go just with the iOS apps when you will design Android apps, iOS app, Windows apps, Unity games, writing a simple HTML code. You will fall into the problems, bugs will be there, but it's our job as a programmer to learn how we can solve those problems and I got one very interesting such situation like that here. So what we have, as you can already see, uh, Christian, I hope you are, I'm not pronouncing your name badly, but I'll call you Christian. I hope that's okay. So Christian posted me uh, that he is facing a problem. I asked him to push his code on the GitHub and I'll be downloading a repo from the GitHub and I'll be solving your problem. Not only I'll be solving your problem, I'll show you that how the process actually goes up and how we look on to the online documentation and solve these process. Okay, sounds like a plan. Okay, let me know in the comment, Christian, from which country you are. It's always good to find that uh, wherever the students are learning. Okay, so this is the GitHub URL and you can easily download any GitHub project uh, just by clicking here and I'll be downloading a zip file. I've already downloaded it and placed it on my desktop and this is pretty simple stuff just download like a zip file and there are a couple of things here so let me just open this up and there we go now although the project was zipped uh, pretty badly i would say uh, i'm not trying to be rude but the project was packed uh, not very good so but again we got the project so i extracted this this just got me a single file that was picker view number two dot xe workspace not of course a big use I extracted this one and I found uh, this guy here, the project file and the project itself. So this is this one is good. You only need to push these two guys, nothing else. You don't need to zip it. Uh, the Xcode is gonna, the source tree is gonna do all the things for you. So one idea is uh, don't just zip out and just put everything. You, the file should have a good structure, okay? I hope I'm not being very rude here. I'm just trying to make you a good programmer and that's my job, okay? Now, let's just open this guy. And the problem that he was facing uh, is being written here as well. Picker view displaying different data. Okay, okay, so picker view is having a different data. So let's look at the storyboard. How does it look? Ah, nice color, I like that. I like it a lot when students use a lot of different color instead of having just white screen, it's always good. So this is good, there we go, uh, a picker view is there. And uh, there is, there we have a single label, uh, this will be chosen. So I think uh, there are a lot of uh, mountain view, these are just default ones. Let's look at the app delegate, no, view controller. And there we go, shooting checklist, camera modes, exposure, ISO, shutter speed. Oh my goodness, you are a photographer, that's very nice. Aperture, white balance, uh, a lot, lot of terminologies are there. Looks good, sounds good. Then we have got picker view, so uh, nice. The data source is being injected as a protocol and uh, delegate is also included, nice. Picker view, we have an outlet, we have a text, that's nice. Now we have moved on, we got a uh, data source being referenced as a data source and delegate, that's lovely. We got number of components, yeah, that's fine. We just need one scroll. We can have multiples as well, like uh, the two rows. You might have seen that in, in the applications like uh, where you can select months and dates and years, uh, just like that. So in that case, you need three components. In this case, we just need one. Okay, that's good. Now, how many rows you want? Uh, you have just mentioned contents.count and I guess contents is this array. That's lovely, nice, nicely defined everything. I'm really happy with this code so far. Then we have got a method and that method actually selects a row uh, with the help of row. We are getting contents array and it just prints it out and we are just returning it and we are setting the text label as my contents as well. Okay, let's just run the project and see what's going on wrong. And where is my simulator? Okay, there is my simulator, it has started to run. Come on, load up. Okay, there we go, shooting checklist. Okay, this is good. Camera mode, okay, this shows aperture and this shows exposure and it, it gives me a white balance. So we got a problem. We are not getting what we are selecting in the picker view. That is a big issue, that is a big issue. So let me just figure it out how we can solve that. I'm gonna do live in front of you. So let's just define the problem first of all in a nice word. 
because in able to solve your problem, you should phrase your problem in a nice word. And that is very important while searching the problem on the Google. So it says, picker view displaying different data. You have done a pretty good job because you are saying picker view uh, displaying a different data. That is exactly what I'm looking for. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm just gonna be copy pasting, adding some keywords more uh, like Swift and iOS uh, 10 in front of it so that I'm getting better result. And there we go, we can get a, a lot of results out there, but the result that I would be looking for is gonna be from the Stack Overflow. This is the holy grail for every programmer. So how do I get data? And let's just have a look. And picker view, actually, I would like to phrase it a little bit more, uh, like uh, not in general, I would like to uh, figure it out into more practical and programmatic uh, keywords like, Picker view is selecting a wrong row. It's not uh, displaying the different data. I would like to say picker view is selecting a different row. So picker view, or in fact, I would like to say UI picker view would be nice, but I can just select it later on. Picker view is selecting a different row. Okay, and I'll add a keyword like Swift, and uh, I think Swift is good. Okay, let's just say UI picker view. Okay, and it says showing UI picker view with selected row. Let's just have a look, how does it goes? And uh, there we go, it just gives you a lot of information. Uh, we can just look out for uh, anything else. Okay, a lot of information is there. How to set a default value? No, I'm not looking for a default value. Okay, this. let's just have a look at the first. Showing UI picker view with selected row. Okay, so Okay, okay, it's it's going good. And I don't think so, it's, it's really helping for us right now. So UI picker view, selecting different row. Okay, what we can add extra. UI picker view is selecting different row. Then selection, or just like that. Okay, let's just have a look. So, okay, I'm not looking for the Objective-C, I'm looking for the Swift code. Uh, although I could have just solved it in a second, I know what the problem is, but I'm trying to show or figure it out, uh, the things that I'm really looking for. Uh, let's just try with another keywords. So I would say UI picker view, uh, let's just see how we can figure it out. UI picker view is selecting uh, the wrong row. Uh, let's just try to write that. Wrong row, okay. Uh, let's just look at this. Okay, so here we can see almost same code, All any not on a single given instance, you will find exactly the same code, but you have to figure it out how you can compare your code out there. Okay, so let's just see the number of rows in picker view is selected. Okay, that's good. And it's exactly almost the same situation that we are having. Okay, nice. So how it solved the problem, I think you need to remove active quiz place uh, dot equals row. Okay from your code and you have to add one more method that is did select row and uh, picker view. Okay, so there is a method did select row that can help us to solve this problem. Let's just try to have a look on that. Okay, so I'll just add this method out there and let's just say did select row and let's just uh, change your label with that row. Okay, so you, you called it label. Okay, that's good. A label dot text and I'm gonna be just shifting it for a row. I know obviously it is going to just give us a number, 0, 1, 2 based on the array, but I just want to test out the things. So let's just go ahead, run that, okay. And what actually did select row is doing, uh, your picker view is just selecting the things once, it's good, but uh, once you want to update the things, you have to use the function did select row. And it just runs every single time you touch the picker view. So this method runs every single time. So that's why it's gonna solve the problem, okay? So as I go with the camera mode, it gives us one. That is good because our array starts from zero. So this looks like this is solving our problem. And we can see this is this is working good. Uh, although we are getting the row like uh, a sunny veil and white and all these things, but it's not making sense right now. Let me just fix the code quickly. And I'll be saying something like this, like components, component or components? Component, content, okay, content. Content, and let's just fix it with the row. I think this is gonna fix the problem. Let's just check this out. 
Okay, it's running, it's running. Come on, load up quickly. Okay, there we go. Shooting checklist, exposure, shutter speed. Ah, this is working nice, this is working nice. So let's just analyze what we learned and how we solved this problem. So first of all, always go ahead. Uh, don't be shy in including the code or any other method that is being recommended on the Stack Overflow. It's a kind community of programmer, they are always helping, okay? Now let's move on why it created a problem for us. Because this, till now the code is uh, really good till the line number 35. Then, now when you say the title for row, now this method is actually being meant uh, to just set the title of the row. This is, this is not running again and again. If you want to just select the rows again and again, you need a method that runs every single time you touch the picker view. And one of those method is did select row because you are selecting a row at that instance. So once you run that method, it is going to run on again and again, and that is why uh, changing the row title here actually makes much more sense. So I hope you got the things. I'm trying to help a lot of people uh, to get the iOS code as easily as possible. In case you have any problem, do post down in the question answer section. I'm really prompt in every bootcamp and I'm spending a lot of time in the question answer. I hope you enjoyed that. And for till now, I would expect to see a screenshot of your app every single time you do that. I'm looking all of you. Till then, bye-bye, see you out there in the next time.